Hey guys, Artosis here bringing you some more BSL action. We are nearing the end of the third place match right now. It's a best of five between Gypsy and Ziki. Gypsy right now leads two to one, but it has been a very well fought series uh, from both players. So really excited to see how game number four is going to go down. We'll be seeing that map just momentarily. Oh my god, Heartbreak Ridge. All right, this should bring us a very different style. There's definitely a lot of weird cheesy plays that you can do on this two-player map. Uh, but very notably, I feel like this is a, a very much a map for Crazy Zerg. Uh, that's definitely something I've seen on the map a fair amount, even though it kind of rotated out before the full power of that build. So definitely a possibility that we see something like that as well. Uh, but we're going to have to take a close look at the openers. It looks like it's about time to start. Let's get into it. See if Gypsy can finish off Ziki or Ziki can bring us to a nice game number five. All right. On the left spawn, we have Ziki. And on the right spawn, we have Gypsy. Now, for those of you who do not know, uh, Heartbreak Ridge, it's an older map. It's got a lot of terrain changes throughout, as you can kind of see on the mini map, right? The edges are lined with bases. That middle base doesn't get taken in this matchup. Uh, not really in any matchup, honestly. It just <laughs> I can't remember a game where that base was ever taken. Uh, but it's also got the high ground behind your minerals at your natural uh there are some minerals that can be you know gathered to be able to use that as a pathway there's also some temples that can be killed off by things like lurkers rather quickly so yeah i'm not sure like what we're gonna see exactly oh is this okay no never mind that is just a standard barracks timing here up at the choke not going for a full wall in or anything like that so you keep coming down with the drone uh, definitely eight racks is something that can be popular here as it is a two-player map you have all sorts of different proxy locations that you could go for so ziki kind of checking that out quickly and also going to see the gas so this is the first time that we're gonna have a factory opener from gypsy and i'm kind of interested to see which one it's gonna be is he gonna go live build or a 111 absolutely could be either do some nice micro on both sides as <laughs> the drone tries to get that Ultimate damage off. Doesn't look like he's going to get too much this time. Of course, on Ziki's side, we have that hatchery first. That shot? <laughs> it's funny watching the, the first player, even from Ziki's cam. I'm like, no, I, don't, I heard the shot, but I didn't see it, right? Um, all right, well, the drone going to have to get out of here, of course. We're going to have a factory starting up momentarily. Gypsy, of course, with a little bit of a late scout, but that's fine. Down goes the factory, making a wall. So it doesn't have to worry about Zerglings or anything like that. And the Overlord just kind of going to the edge there. That is a location where you could hop a Vulture if you utilize an SCB with it. The drone actually pops back in for a scout, and it sees one SCB on gas. I think that's probably what it was looking for. Uh, if you were going to do like a very cheesy build, you might have two SCBs or even three SCBs on gas right now. But as is, uh, finds that it's regular gas mining. It looks like it's going to be a command center coming out of Gypsy here. So Ziki, now trapped with the drone, just trying to keep it alive as long as is possible. Like, he'd be very happy to get one more peek at that gas. Not sure if he'll make it. It looks like he, oh, really good marine following. But then Gypsy uh, stops for a moment as he starts to make the command center. Vulture is on the way. And we're going to see here. I can't believe this drone is still alive, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. It makes it out. Madness. That is a hero drone if I've ever seen one. All right. So, a sunken colony is on the way. Layer on the way as well. SCV still alive and well scouting in the main base here of Ziki. Now, are we going to see a starport or are we going to see second factory and armory? Let's see. Ah, it is the starport. So a 1-1-1 opener. For those of you who aren't really aware about this, basically this is a rush up to starport, and you can go Wraith, you can go Valkyrie, or you can go Science Vessel. 
Uh, and everyone's kind of got their own style with it, but that's going to be your Mutalist counter, is whatever you make out of the starport. Uh, against a two hatch, you don't have time for things like a dropship. The Mutas will literally be out by the time a dropship hits. So can't really do anything quite like that. The Vulture, of course, kind of keeps you safe. It gives you some, some intel. It can discourage Lings from coming across the map. And of course, with really good micro, you can stop Lings. Now a Wraith on the way, also an add-on. Oh, interesting with the add-on. I actually kind of wonder what we're gonna see here. Oh, it looks like the Lings run out and Gypsy getting stuck against the wall will end up losing the Vulture. A little bit unfortunate for sure. I'm uh, gonna have to go ahead and start a bunker. He has so few units at home right now. Things, I mean, I think he'll be all right. He should just make another Vulture right away. Yeah, there it is. So it looks like he should be fine. Like, one Vulture can fight against this. Even brings up the uh, Wraith for some more hits as well. But honestly, the Lings have done a very good job. Even getting the Scout off on that, now that you know it's not a Goliath build, that is a lot of information that you've gathered. So really fantastically done with the Zergling. Or the Zerglings in general. All right, finally kills that last one off. In the meantime, it looks like we're going to get some, uh, some Mutas made. The Wraith comes across, gives it a look-see. The eBay is on the way, but it feels like... Uh, I think he's just going to get his turrets up in time, maybe. It's it's going to be a little bit tight. <laughs> uh, and I wonder if he's getting Cloak. I, I didn't really get to notice that over on, on Gypsy's side of the map. You definitely do want to... Yeah, there it is. So Cloak. Generally, what you do here... Uh, as Terran is get three wraiths with cloak. Now look, he's actually hidden an overlord in the top right. So uh, that's kind of the nice thing, right? Like Muta's beat wraiths pretty badly, but it takes a while to get overlord speed. So you can kind of just push overlords out of your area and utilize three cloaked wraiths, and the Mutas can't really touch you. Or you'll you can do moving shots on them. You can kind of chase them down, and those wraiths will just demolish them. So uh, that's. It's going to be a solid defense here from Gypsy, but we'll see how Ziki actually ends up wanting to deal with it. Sometimes you'll see uh, Zerg players in this situation mass up Mutas and get Overlord speed and try to go for a kill. But I think Gypsy's going to transition out of the rates really quickly. All right, the Speed Vultures running in, looking for some damage. Three Speed Vultures or three Vultures in general are going to one-shot... Or one volley, I guess, is the right way to put it. Uh, a drone. So that is a great number to have. And here are those cloaked wraiths now. The mutas deciding to do a little bit of damage. You can see how badly the mutas would absolutely massacre if they could see these wraiths. And he actually decides to stay here since there's only a couple of them. He's not actually taking damage that quickly. Now another wraith pops out. And the Wraiths are starting to really shred these Mutas a little bit. Looks like Ziki deciding to mostly sacrifice some of them. All right, so, I mean, it was it was a fine enough defense, right? The, the Wraiths took absolutely no damage. He did lose some SCVs. It's not like there's a big standing army for our Zerg player either. And from here, I would imagine we're going to see him go into bio with vessels. Uh, that's generally the way that you're going to see it. More mutas being made. Overlords all stacked up in that bottom left corner. Uh, all right, so we do have the academy on the way. Have that eBay. Hopefully getting an upgrade right now. Didn't get to notice that. Some speedlings joining this army up. An overlord flying up as well. I, I imagine he would have gotten Overlord speed in this game, so that'll help him out a lot against those Wraiths. Of course, Wraiths a little bit quicker than speed Overlords, so it's not like an automatic death sentence. Uh, if the Overlord gets close enough, you can moving shot with the Mutas and kill those Wraiths off, but as long as you're really on top of your Wraiths, uh, you should still be all right here. Be able to lure those back into missile turrets, into your Marines, maybe into an Irradiate as well. We do see that Irradiate is being researched right now. Oh, and out come the wraiths. The cloak goes down, picking off what they can. Oh, here comes that overlord. And he does take a little bit of damage, but saves all the wraiths for now. Oh, looks like one of them is going to end up falling there. Some good micro from Gypsy. Doesn't quite have the energy yet 
for that radiate. Of course, he's got to mass up really heavily right now uh, on the bio. Because overall, your standing army size is a little bit small. And we're almost to move out timing. Uh, you generally want to move out right around 10 minutes when you are doing a 1-1-1 build like this. Because that's right around the time that the Zerg player is going to be trying to really drone up his expansions and get ready for that later part of the game. Scan goes down, sees that he is going to be facing Lurkers, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem since Gypsy has already made some Siege Tanks. A couple of them already out here. A lot of Scourge adding in. Yeah, the Observer here showing us quite high supply for Ziki. He's actually done a great job droning up. All right, the move out is coming. Plus one already done really well timed out on that. Some great macro going on from Gypsy. You can see his minerals and gas both staying very low. He's really balanced his economy well, which is a little bit difficult with the build. Should have that range upgrade on the way as well. Going to be very, very important for the upcoming engagements. And let's see how Ziki wants to take this. Like, we do have all these high ground areas, so you can try to utilize your lurkers here. Oh my god, flies in and snipes a vessel. That's actually a huge moment here. Hold position lurkers become very scary in a situation like this. I, ooh, I think that that was such an important moment in this game. If he can just pick off some extra Marines with this... Everything might fall apart for Gypsy. That first science vessel is worth so much. Now, let's see. Is Gypsy going to do a scan? Oh, look at this. He sieges up. Oh, it wasn't whole position anyways. <laughs> so, all right. Worried about that for nothing. Of course, that is a, a common tactic anyways. But a lot of lurkers coming out. The tanks will move back. Ziki taking the top left during this time as well. Second eBay coming up. Gypsy's economy looking pretty solid right now. Very healthy amount of drones. Or SCVs. Probes. Whatever we want to call them. Tyler Mound is up as we saw there. Not a lot of irradiates. So it could be a little bit tough. And oh, this is actually a pretty good engage for Gypsy, I think. But those are some great spines. That actually went as well for Ziki as it could have. I could have seen that being much more one-sided. Oh my god, runs up now with three lurkers. These engagements are just too good. He's going to end up losing another vessel, I think. Yeah, another vessel ends up going down. It does get it to radiate off. But after these couple engagements, I definitely have to say I think that Ziki is ahead right now. I know we still see that uh, Gypsy is technically up in supply. He is rallying a lot of units out on the map. But losing the first couple vessels, having your siege tanks basically do nothing as well is just too brutal for the opening of the game. We're going to have to filers out soon, too. And without the irradiates from those additional vessels, that's going to be really hard to hold on against. The map control is being ceded to Ziki right now, which at this point in the game, you really need to have his Terran as well. Gypsy is getting his third command center ready. But I don't think that that's going to be enough. All right, the Lurker's running in now. Maybe a little bit of an overextension here from our Zerg. Like, the, I, I don't see a real reason to push it right now. Like, he's already gained so much. Uh, and then to kind of give some of your high gas units for some Marines. I don't really like that exact moment. If, you like, yeah, see, Gypsy's going up to eight racks. Uh, he's still producing vessels here. If he could somehow, like, get a force on the map slow down the defiler push like if he could figure out that top left has been taken and go kill that then you know that lurker throwaway is going to be twice as painful all right a couple vessels are out defiler ling going through the center right now the last remaining muta dark swarm goes down bio runs back Oh, yeah, no, that, I mean, that trade was amazing for, <laughs> for Gypsy. I was, like, sitting there holding my breath, waiting for the next spell. But, yeah, I guess uh, Ziki was not prepared for that. So, ends up losing that central defiler. And that top left base, maybe, maybe Gypsy can bust it now. He actually has plus two attack, which is really nice. 
Floats up this third base, sending a few Marines up there now to deal with the Zerglings. Oh, a Defiler does pop out over at this base. Radiates that immediately. Okay, a Dark Storm goes down, but I believe a Fire Bat is on the way, so maybe he can still bust through. But really, I think we need to see from Ziki uh, some Lurkers to be put in this area. Yeah, look at that. Beautifully done. Defense Matrix onto the Fire Bat. He will be able to get through those Dark Storms. If he can pick off this Nidus, that is going to be absolutely gigantic. Those, I mean, the Fire Bat with Defense Matrix, that is not going to die to anything here. Oh, my God. This is just doing so, so much right now. The Plague did go down, but, of course, under Dark Swarm, you're not going to be able to hit anything. Starting to target those Fire Bats that were under, not underneath it anymore, so that's nice. And it looks like the very few Marines left over will end up getting cleared out. Okay, I actually I thought he was going to be able to get this, but that Ling reinforcement cleaning up pretty well. Another group of Bio coming in if there's enough Fire Bats. Oh, and I think there are. I think he can just bust through here as well. Fire Bats come up. Ooh, the Ling's starting to trade. Okay, against the Fire Bats. Very hard to see here. But the Fire Bats continue to hold. They get forward. I think once again, Siki just going to hold on to this fourth base. Another set of Bio coming up. Ling's coming from behind as well. High energy defiling there. Wow, that's a lot of Fire Bats. And with that many Fire Bats, like this base is toast. <laughs> Uh, Anitis is on the way, so I mean, Lurkers popping out of that is maybe the only chance, but I, I think the damage output is probably too high. Uh, a group of Bio defending this third base for Gypsy as well. Bad news right now for Zeke. You can see his supply falling below 70, and this is really where Zerg starts to die. Uh, he has very little to work with right now. It's like mostly Lings. A Defiler, a couple Lurkers here and there. But look at this. The Vessel's just flying through the middle of the map like they own the place. No Scourge in sight. They'll get that uh, just beautiful Irradiate down. Dark Swarm is cast, but obviously not going to be enough. Just run out of that one. And now it's three base versus three base. But Gypsy up a lot of supply right now. Like over 50 supply up. Lots of fire bats in his army. Solid upgrades. Last we saw it was plus two, but probably at least two one by now. Yeah, there it is. Some Scourge entering out, trying to catch some of these vessels. Unfortunately, get picked off as well. Only a couple Sunkins over there for defense. And it's really looking to me right now like Gypsy is going to be third place in this BSL season. All right, some Ultras coming out now. Finally, this is what Ziki has been working up towards this entire game. It's not that big an army, but you know what? This little Bio Force obviously can't fight Ultras. You really need to group everything up uh, to have a chance against those Ultralisks. So Gypsy, in the meantime, expanding to 12 o'clock. Bringing his units back. Has that plus three attack so, so important against the Ultras. Ziki spanning to the bottom right, as we see. All right, does get that killed off. Has those drop ships on the map as well, so that's a little bit annoying to deal with. Ultra Defiler, I mean, that's, that's always scary, even in low numbers, right? Because... If you have just a few, um, Fire Bats can't really fight Ultras under Dark Swarm. Uh, where they can fight those Slings. Now, he comes up and... Oh, targets down the Defiler, but the Dark Swarm does get down. So I think he might be able to force a cancel on that 12 o'clock base. Bunker going up right now. Oh, the Scourge catching those two dropships. A little bit unfortunate. Didn't really need to fly there, but... Gypsy trying to keep the pressure on. Triple irradiated ultras. Not going to last too, too long. Especially with all these, you know, eight marines at a time rallying out. Only plus four uh, on that carapace as well. So Gypsy actually up an upgrade. And this command center. Ooh, just gets saved. 132 health left as he kills off the last couple units attacking it. 
Vessel's still kind of roaming the map right now. And I, yeah, this is just, it's so many Marines. The Ultras are not going to be able to stand a chance here. Not with those upgrades. Uh, it looks like Gypsy's macro really paying off. Another Vessel does end up falling. A nice recovery here from Gypsy. And, but, you know, like, Siki's still putting together a, a little bit of scariness, right? Like, he's he's pushing the army back. He's... He's reducing the marine counts, but you can see his supply is still very, very low here. Let's see what he can get done. Packing in with some uh, Ling Ultra. Another Irradiate goes down. Oh, are we just going to let that burn down? So sad <laughs> if he loses a base to fire. Zerg, a spacefaring civilization, I guess you'd call it, but hasn't mastered fire yet. This is the Terran doing. Zeke trying to re-expand. A nice scan does find that. He's also taking 6 o'clock. But, of course, that is a base without gas. So, not really all that important. Even though, uh, really, Zeke can use anything at the moment. Morling Ultra trying to run in here. And, you know, while your Marine numbers are low, this can kind of work. Another Defense Matrix goes down. Or, uh, rather, the first one that we've seen. Since the Fire Bat earlier on. Radiate and yeah, it, I think at this point it's just about Gypsy massing up a little tiny bit more. You can see that Ziki supply really, really low at the moment. Just a few ultras, just a few lings. He's trying to pull something together here. Brings in some scourge. Oh, misses that one connection, unfortunately. And you know what? He can maybe kill some SCDs over here as well. Actually, splits up his ultra ling to hit both bases at once. See what type of damage he can actually get done. An empty bunker over here. Not going to be very protective. Gypsy trying to group his army together. Trying to push this back. Ziki during this. He does have that 6 o'clock base. So we can see more and more uh, <laughs> lings being fielded. But we are at the point right now where basically he's on one and a half gases right his, his main and natural have run out of gas at this point so the income for Ziki is really really dry he's actually expanding to the center that has a double gas that actually strangely in a way makes sense but i just can't see him ever holding on because gypsy is eventually going to get enough units together that he can walk out into the map and the second he does that should go down all right, Eraser Trick trying to be used, but isn't quite catching the drones here, unfortunately. Going to go ahead, head over to this third base. There are some Scourge waiting for him. He loses one vessel here, but one can still do an Eraser reasonably well. And the Ultra is being irradiated, getting on top of these Marines once again. Still, though, I mean... Is Seeky going to be able to actually pull something off here? That would be absolutely insane if he is just able. No, right? There, there's just no way. There's just too many units for Gypsy spread around the map. Still up almost 40 supply. Let's see. He's starting to get drones in the center of the map. I, I literally said this game that I don't think I've seen this base taken like ever in mind from. But here we have it. All right, the Ultra Ling being very tactical right now. Okay, that's so many vessels. How are you supposed to combat that right now with the low gas income? Does not seem very likely. Really, you can start irradiating drones and stuff. All right. Well, Gypsy, I mean, it seems like he's doing a good enough job. Like, things are not going perfectly for him right now, but... You can see just how desperate Zeke is right now. Like, he is he is trying to use every single tactic to run this army around. Look at this. Like, a single ultra going to the center to fight. But when this base dies, it, it just it might be a straight-up GG from Zeke. A couple ultras coming in to try to fight. To try to hang on. Another eraser there at the third base. And, well, you know what? <laughs> I think he's going to hold the hatch. All right, but he's got, like, no drones anywhere. 46 supply. Look, a, a moral victory in some senses, holding onto that center base <laughs> during that last attack there. Uh, in fact, even since he irradiated Ultra up here, that's going to kill SCVs extremely quickly. 
Look at that. Even the Radiate just killing them. Yeah, it's got like Thorns Aura or something. Gypsy? I mean, okay, yeah. See, he's still actually mining from these bait. Well, not that one. Things are getting a maximum slop right now. This is like a pig pen game. Oh, man. I hear a lot of drone death over in the natural as well. Another eraser going down. A lot of drones in the center. This one ultra still running about, trying to get as many kills as possible. The SCV count definitely has been reduced as well. Some Scourge coming out to clear some of these vessels. Look at that gas bank on Gypsy. Definitely something that can happen in games like these, where you continually mine that gas, but uh, you, you actually are not spending it quickly enough. Like, you're focusing so heavily on getting enough Marines out that you just don't die. All right, another vessel ends up going down. This center base going to finally be popped. And I believe with that... See, he really doesn't have much of a choice left here anymore. It looks like he's probably going to end up being fourth place in this BSL. A great result overall. I think he's played some magnificent games throughout the tournament. But uh, Gypsy's Terran vs. Zerg looking maybe just a little bit too strong. Honestly, I feel like this series could have gone either way. But at the end of the day, you know, Gypsy kind of pulling it together. And I kind of, I see the window of Ziki kind of jumping around to his bases, trying to figure out what he has. He's down to 26 supply, right? He's got like 10 drones right now, maybe. And just a small handful of units. The huge Bioforce moving across 100 supply here for Gypsy. And well, okay, I think that's probably the final Ultra. The drone's going to come out to fight as well. The Marines hitting 6 o'clock. Wow, another couple vessels do end up going down. The Ultra being worth its weight in Marines. And it weighs a lot. And that's going to be it. GG Gypsy gets third place in the BSL.